Hey guys, it's Luke here, and this is another edition of Luke Gear Fusion. And no matter where or when you're watching this, this is Fusion Friday. Let's get into it. So today's custom build is based off of the LEGO Creator Twin Rotor Helicopter. And here is the empty box. Now, we have the main picture of the set here, and this is a Creator 3-in-1 kit, so you can have a jet or a hovercraft. Now, sadly, with these Creator sets, you can't have all three at once. That would be amazing, but you'd have to buy three of the kits. So you can only build it one at a time. Now, the helicopter itself can also build a submarine along with it, and you can twist a little knob on the side to lift a winch and lower a winch to pick up that submarine out of the water. And on the back, you can see that the helicopter actually has a little ramp in the back and you can twist this little knob and it makes the rotor spin and like kind of interlock like this and it was a really cool feature. But I got this kit with an intent to make it my own version of a V22 Osprey. So let's check that out. Now watch this. Put the box down. One, two, three. Here it is. Now, I really liked how this came out personally and I'm just happy with the overall build. Here we have it all close up. Now on the front, you'll notice that the only modification that I've done is exchange this little nose piece for a more angular one that I thought accented that windshield more and just gave it a more tight in appearance. Now the obvious modification is this giant wing up here along with these rotors on the sides. Now if you move it along to the side, I've kept this little winch piece or the gear on the side that moves the winch so that I can have that raising and lowering hook just like the original helicopter did and the V-22 Osprey in real life the Air Force has been messing around with repelling troops from the back of it and the reason that I kept the hook on the bottom is because in real life those ropes have to be weighted or else they blow all over the place because the V-22 can produce hurricane force winds from those massive rotors. So the guys would be going everywhere so they have to have weighted ropes so I've kept that hook. Now on the side you have the little door here and you can just slide that open and closed. And I've just kept that because I thought it was a really cool feature and I love when LEGO puts those doors on helicopters. Now here we have the two massive tails just like the real V-22. And on the back I've gotten rid of that little gear that you use to twist the rotors because up here I have a special feature. Now I've also kept that ramp because the V-22 has a ramp in real life and that is one of its key features because it is a rotorcraft slash cargo plane that is very versatile and that's very awesome. Now if you move the wing, you have to move it by hand. I don't have a fancy mechanism just because I was trying to figure out how to engineer that and with the parts I had available I just could not figure it out. So here is the like horizontal flight position would be the fastest way to get A to B and then here is the more like stovel takeoff position and of course the signature Osprey VTOL position. Now the Osprey only the engines move but I have the whole wing move because that is how some of the V-22 prototypes worked and I thought those looked really cool and very weird and I just really like those prototypes. Now the special feature is on the back you have this little gray brick. Well not little it's pretty big now you also have this little shaft. This shaft is for detailing. I just added that because I thought it looked cool. Now if you push this orange button, it spins the motors and just looks like that. I thought this was awesome. It does run out of power because it is a wind up motor and to wind them up you just spin them like this and you just keep on spinning and eventually the engine or the little motor will start to get a little bit bogged down and that's how you're gonna know that it is just about ready. You can feel it getting bogged on, bogged down about now and you're gonna hear it pop. Okay so now it's ready to go again and this feature also works in any of the positions 
that I have it built for, including the downward horizontal flight position. This one I think is my favorite just because it looks so cool and that's how real Ospreys look when they are on the ground. Well, you wouldn't see them spinning on the ground because that would be very, very bad because the props would strike the ground and that's expensive. You would see them up on the top and I really think all planes look cooler flying and that's how you would see it flying. Now around the bottom, I have this landing gear system that I've made these tiny little things that I can just kind of finagle into their own little spots and get them um, all retracted so you have that awesome Osprey retractable landing gear in the back and then on the front I've just kept that original piece and to retract it you just do the amazing thing of pulling it off I really like how this build came out and I'm very happy with just how everything is and you might have noticed in my past promo video for the channel that I still had that little knob now since then I found that motor piece and I think that has improved it a lot and it's really cool that you don't have to use your hands to spin the rotors like at all other than just pushing a little button and watching it go so if you guys want to build your own you'll obviously need to build these big wings and I intend on making a parts list in the future and instructions so you can build this and have it for yourself now the back I've used most of the parts that came with the set and on this all of the parts that I took off to modify it I've put back on so I've tried to use as many of those as possible just to make it easier for making a kit now you'll obviously need these big tail pieces if you want to build this sooner than that and if you want to make it motorized you just have to make this or use this little wind up motor that I have and I'm not sure if they still make this you can check on BrickLink and if you still want to make it motorized you can probably get a battery box and just put it inside this because this has a pretty big cargo hold and you can take one of the power functions motors put it up here turn this thing on and just watch it go and have a blast with electric power I intend on doing that in the future as a future Fusion Friday and I'm really excited for it now I look forward to seeing you next time. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, be sure to check us out on Instagram at Nuclear Fusion, and I'll see you next time on Nuclear Fusion Fusion Friday.